If Tyler Breeze went up to the main roster and he was doing some, I'm talking Bray Wyatt level promos, if he was having Seth Rollins, AJ Styles level matches, if he was selling out the building or something. But Tyler Breeze has done none of that. How do you go from the NBA and get sent back to college? How do you go from the NFL and get sent back to college? That's what happens to a role player. How do you go from high school and get sent back to eighth grade? <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Prince Gmo back with another video. G Mo Malaje. Welcome back. Now, before we begin, hit the like button. And subscribe to Jeep Coming Dog so you do not get caught slipping in these wrestling streets. And I hope you enjoy the video. I mean, if someone whooped your ass, took your car, handed you a camera, and then asked you to take a picture of them with your car, would you do it? If they don't have me at gunpoint, hell no! Like I said, if he would've threw that phone to, to any other man, if he if he beat Ric Flair, and he said, Ric Flair, here, look at this title, it's my title, look at my title, Ric Flair, here, take a picture of me with my title. What the hell, Ric, Ric Flair gonna be, yeah, you know what, yeah, look, look, let's get a, it's a Kodak boom, let's get a picture. No! <laughs> Rick Flair would have been, man, fuck you, dude. And Rick Flair probably would have tur either turned around and left, or he would have kicked him in the balls, one or the other. I guess you're saying, damn, Exotic Adrian. And he was before your time. Exotic Adrian Street had more manhood than this. Adrian Adonis had more manhood than this. Gold Dust had more manhood than this. Oh my God. <laughs> X Delicious, aka Sunny Kiss, has more manhood than this. NXT officially has ruined Tyler Breeze. The main roster didn't use him properly, but they didn't take the man manhood away like that. Oh my god, man. God damn, the great Ric Flair would cringe watching that bullshit. What would Ric Flair do if he just lost the title and someone said, here man, take a picture of me with this title. Ric Flair would have whooped his ass, man. Or poked him in the eye or just left. What would the Undertaker have done? Undertaker would have definitely whooped his ass. What would Stone Cold have done? You think Stone Cold gonna drink a beer with you after you beat him for the title? Stone Cold gonna fuck you up or he gonna leave. Tyler Breeze is no manhood. None. He has no manhood. Dear God, I've seen Chihuahuas with more manhood. Basically, you're saying now the ending of him and Matt Riddle, that made more sense. Yeah, there's a show of respect and everything, you know, dapping the dude up. That's one thing. But here, I'm gonna take the pig. I want, it's not I'm taking the selfie of us together, no. You're going to take the selfie of the shit that you think belong to you that I just whooped your ass and took. And he just, oh my, Tyler Breeze is just trash after that. Tyler Breeze is trash. I have never, it, when have we seen something that ridiculous and, bruh, that shit, I, I can't even, man, I can't even put in the words. I haven't seen nothing that damn, my lord. The Prince, Tyler Breeze show, he respects Velveteen Dream. Oh, um, yeah, he did. And Velveteen Dream showed he don't respect Tyler Breeze. He gave that man that phone and said, take my picture. Take my picture. You know what, fuck it. He tried to leave. So I was like, no, I must have this extremely muscular black man in my phone <laughs> with me. Because he's already in my phone because he whooped my ass like a bitch. He, he took my phone like I didn't give it to him. He just reached over and took my shit. 
took pictures with it. He calling people on Skype in the middle of the match, telling them he he whooped my ass and everything. And then he gives it to me and said, "Hey, man, you should take a picture. It'll last longer." And starts posing in front of me. Oh, I thought of another one. Shawn Michaels. Remember T. G. said, "Yeah, I just whooped your ass, Shawn Michaels." Now take your camera and you take my selfie for it. And then then Shawn like, "Oh, okay, okay." He get in there, take the selfie. Remember T. G. was like, "Yeah, I'm the champ. I'm the champ." Boom. <laughs> Sweet cheap music. He's out like a light. Then Shawn Michaels sit down. He takes a second selfie. Of the Velveteen Dream with the with the North American Championship belt draped across his unconscious body, and Shawn Michaels takes a smile and smiles and goes. Then he has, then he has maybe the ring announcer or the ring attendant come in, take a selfie. He stands o- over him and does the DX sign, suck it, <laughs> suck it sign over Velveteen Dream. <laughs> They could put him on the Firefly Funhouse now. He could be a little puppet. Tyler Noball should be his name. Have a little puppet and everything. And that's what they should do from now on with Tyler Breeze. Because he need to be repackaged. He can't be Tyler Breeze no more after that. He need to change his name. Maybe get get a sex change too. But I, I don't know, man. He he can't be Tyler Breeze no more. That That character and that name just needs to go away after that shit. That was some bullshit. Y'all need to quit clowning on Tyler Breeze. Look, do I think it was stupid the fact that he came back in the ring and took a selfie with Velveteen Dream? Yeah, but the thing is, we don't know what's going to happen next. And besides, Velveteen Dream supposed to be... I don't know whether or not he's a heel or a face. I have no idea, but he's treated like a face. While, in my opinion, Tyler Breeze should be the heel and that would have been a great heel turn he would have got some massive heat i mean prince pretty his character alone screams heel i don't know why he didn't go heel but did he lose his manhood no nah, i'm not gonna say that uh, prince who the fuck are you i'm terry cruz white meat only and when you talk about this toxic masculinity on mount atlantis man why don't you go talk about your damn nuts that that man grabbed? But even with that, you have more manhood than Tyler Breeze. I mean, the dude didn't grab your balls and hand you a camera and say, Terry Crews, take a picture of me grabbing your balls. That's not what happened. I can't believe that y'all are comparing Tyler Breeze to that man bitch. Come on now. Terry Crews is a fucking man bitch and you're gonna like straight up compare him to that? No. No. Tyler Breeze has more manhood than that man bitch Tyler, uh, Terry Crews. Hell no. Nah man. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hey, I agree with you to a point, but I see what Nature Girl's coming from. You don't know where they're gonna go with this storyline. Would I have personally done it? No. Tyler Breeze has not ever really been established that good. So he could survive this if they do it right. Uh, uh, Prince, sometimes I think you get a little too sensitive about certain things being manhood. Is it really manhood or is it just ego? You say Terry Crews has more manhood than this, that. Nah. Double T Dream, last I checked, didn't put the Vince Von Etik Iron Claw on Tyler Breeze's nuts. <laughs> last I checked. Now, would I have would I have taken a selfie after a guy beat me and shit? Hell no. He gets a major air. Remember when The Rock beat Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 18? What did The Rock do? Did The Rock walk up? Yeah, Hogan. I whooped your ass. Yeah, Hogan. No. He gave that. They gave that in a respectful way. That's one thing. Or after Shawn Michaels be uh he be Jericho. He gave that to Jericho, you know, he kicked him in the balls and shit. But but still, that was giving that. That that's one thing. Giving that to a dude is one thing. Flexing on a dude, oh hell no. This is what puzzled me even more. The crowd was cheering this shit. 
Nah, ma'am just grabbed your phone, was flexing on you, disrespected you, took his own selfie on your phone. And when he stopped him from leaving, I thought he was going to knock shit out of him. But then he decides to take a selfie with him. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, hell no. Mm-mm. Now, if he wouldn't have done all that and tried to leave and Tyler Breeze would have done that, I think it would I think I would have took it differently. Yeah, like if Velveteen would wasn't flexing like that, then, then I would have been okay, cool. But with Velveteen flexing like that, nah, Tyler Breeze should have either left the ring, took his L, went to the gym, and came back, you know, a week or two later and asked for a rematch. Or he should have just slapped the shit out of his ass. Or, you know, a kick to the balls or something. Like, especially with him flexing so damn much, man. Like, they're showing respect. They're giving that to a man, and then there's flexing on him. Velveteen was flexing on that man. Prince, nothing got stolen from Tyler Breeze. If he had the belt, and he lost the Velveteen Dream, and he took a selfie with him after losing the belt to Bel Velveteen Dream, then I will be on your side. But Tyler didn't lose nothing, and neither did Velveteen. So how is he losing his manhood when nothing was taken from him? This with all y'all people on Facebook, y'all parents, y'all need to stop all these senseless fucking crimes, all this gangbang shit. This my fucking nephew right here. He ain't no gang member. We don't come from that shit. You, you tell him. All that bullshit, but all that, all that fake, uh, all that fake, but this ass whooping ain't gonna be fake. Get that on Facebook. Tell him about that. Tell him about that. Tell him about Show him that. Show him that. Facebook that. The gang you was huh? No, what we last night knew, huh? Rain hand or stunk your motherfucking ass. I was lying. I was lying. Tell him you was lying. Don't tell him he, I know you fucking ass lying. I was lying. I was lying. Hey, fuck all the fucking killers and all that fake ass rap shit. Tell him. That's fake. We don't come from that shit. You are family. And if I catch you, if I go in that motherfucking catch you, any, any shit, anything, I don't give a fuck if you say happy birthday, go. I'm going to whoop your ass. You hear me? You a what? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Now put that on this fucking wall.